Welcome to Kim's Art Alchemy. Look what I've got. It's the dustpan pour. <laughs> so our lovely guest this week, Michelle of Royal River Art, I'll put her channel up here. She challenged ML and myself to do a dustpan pour. And I'd been racking my brains as to how I was gonna do it. I've never done it before, but first of all, I knew I had a little itty bitty dustpan, so that was a good start. And I'd also ordered these hexagonal tiles. They're four inch tiles. And I thought, I'm gonna do this dustpan pour over these tiles. So I have four colors, well, really five. Um, my base coat is going to be this Burnt Umber by Amsterdam and then in my dustpan, I'm gonna lay the base as the burnt umber and I am going to use colors. I am praying for fall. So I have Arteza, um, what is this one? What is this one? Pearl Golden Hour. I have Arteza Pearl Papaya Orange and I have Arteza Bordeaux red. So those will be my nice autumn colors. And I have a little itty bitty tiny bit of Amsterdam titanium white that I'm going to sprinkle into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover my tiles with this nice chocolate brown. And as you all know, brown is so not my color, but it does have its place and its place today is as my background so i'm going to pour that out and spread it out get my handy dandy spatula and hopefully not <laughs> disrupt the base on these tiles i had them all together and i was trying to figure out how um, how to lay these tiles uh, and I just thought, let's just go pretty basic with how they're laid out because I don't want to make it hard for myself when I do the dustpan to have to switch directions. And I don't want what's in the dustpan to completely coat these tiles, if at all possible. I do want to have some of this brown negative space. Those are the plans. And as you all know, plans hardly ever go to plan. <laughs> here so I'm gonna have to have my base let me lift this up okay. you see that I think you can see that still okay so I'm just gonna pour this in here up to that lip and now I'm gonna layer my cup Let's do a ring pour on this. changing the direction of my ring pour. I'm getting 
down to the end. Alright, that's the end of that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna torch this. Dang, look at all those bubbles. Now I have to switch hands and wow. I'm going to start off off the canvas, off the tiles, as it were. Shoot. Hope I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this part here off. I'm gonna use, let's get my, uh, I don't know, just scrape that off. That off. <clears throat> and then uh, fill her back in with. that brown and there it is I need to separate the tiles for one so let's do that do it one at a let me first let me torch but not least. Because I wanted to keep the ring pour pattern, my paints were pretty thick and were also drying really fast. So I had to put a cover over them to slow the drying process down. And you can see how I did it. We're back and I put resin on each of these pieces and now I'm going to show you how I've removed the tape off the back. It's only been ooh, just under 24 hours since I put the resin on them and it's always good to try and get that paper off the back as soon as possible. So, oh, and I also wanted to show you cleaned out my dustpan and it is ready to go for future. All right, I have my heat gun. I've got gloves. I put the gloves on so I don't get fingerprints on my resin. It is still, you know, in that curing process. So, let's see. So I'm gonna start probably here. You can see where the resin pools and it's just gonna come off so nicely. All right. So I'm gonna use my heat gun, I'm gonna blast it on high. Just 
to work it around that edge. And this was that top layer of tape. I'm just going to lift it up so I can get a grip. And peel it off. And then the next layer is this middle one. I could really just take the gloves off on this hand. And the heat just softens the resin on the edge. So you can, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, so that you can peel it off. And there it is, one beautiful coaster, all done. I'm gonna do the others and then we'll put the puzzle pieces together. Be back in a flash. Time to put the puzzle pieces together. So here they all are, aren't they awesome? That light shine in there. We have to tip it up. Okay. So I think that was at the end. This I'm sure of. This is wrong. This would be a great drinking game. This is here. Right? Yes. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> I got it. Finally got those puzzle pieces together. All right, what do you think? I hope you like this one. I hope it inspires you to get out and be your own alchemist. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed, before me, Michelle of Royal River Art, or Marie Louise, who was before her. Please go back and check out their channels. They are amazing artists. Please go show them some love, and um, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.